bearings, wheels, screws, boards, abrasive paper, these things are all simple, rustic materials. It's hard to imagine they could play a role in art or beauty. But at Beijing's biggest skate park, Woodward, those elements combine as a tool of self-expression. The skateboard is much more than a piece of sports equipment to many people. It's a statement of who they are. Skateboarding is a popular, extreme form of exercise. Drawing many passers-by, even an amateur skateboarder can show various cool mid-air tricks or zoom around the park. The original skateboard was similar to a surfboard, a large piece of wood with wheels made of clay or metal attached underneath. Having steadily grown as a sport since the 1960s, skateboards have changed a lot. Skateboarding was not popular in China until the late 1990s, but the community has matured rapidly to catch up with the West. In Beijing, amateur skaters often gather at Woodward, where they can help each other improve and show off their best moves. This skate park is a hobbyist paradise. There are enthusiasts from all over the world that frequent Woodward, where they can enjoy themselves and practice this extreme sport. Uh, I'm coming from Turkey. Uh, I'm Tim from Australia. Some of Woodward's visitors are professional skaters with more than 10 years of experience, while others are new to skateboarding and spend most of their time on their butts. And although they share the same hobby, they do it for different reasons. Uh, Various reasons attract young people to skateboarding, but chief among them is the freewheeling nature of the sport. There are no rules to skating. Enthusiasts create all sorts of tricks, such as the turning plate, the aerial, the invert, the ollie. For them, the ollie is the most common move, where the skater stomps down on the skateboard in such a way so that it flies into the air, allowing the rider to jump over obstacles. All these form the base of skating, with most advanced tricks using a variation of that technique. Skaters say if somebody wants to be a good rider, they need to start by mastering the ollie. Once a skater has mastered the ollie, however, some pretty amazing things are possible. Mm, Riders not only express their passion for the sport through aerial maneuvers, hobbyists and artists alike use the skateboard as a canvas for images. Famous Thai skater Tao Kitpala recently held a DIY cruiser workshop at Woodward. The skater and renowned graffiti artist taught participants some of the basic techniques he uses when transforming plain skateboards into high-end art. Nearly a hundred novice skaters and artists attended his Beijing workshop. Uh, my name is Tao Kitpala. I have been skate like almost 20 years now, but I uh, started like uh, interesting about like the cruiser board and like uh, cutting the board maybe like four or five years now. So I've been skate like almost 20 years, right? And like I love to see like the different shape of board all the time. Every time I go to the skate shop and see like like a nice shape or old school shape, I'm like kind of like in love with it. So uh, I come back and maybe like try some at home, then uh, it's work and I love it. While teaching drawing, Tao invited a young skater to design a skateboard with him. They outlined a board on paper and, guiding the novice artist, 
Tao helped her create a piece of art that speaks to her personality. Tao has been designing skateboards for four years, and they have been universally praised by the community. He came to Beijing on the invitation of a friend, but his main focus at the moment is shooting a documentary about skate culture in Kunming in southwestern China. Uh, actually, I have a skate trip, like a filming skate video trip in Kunming. And uh, I fly from Kunming to Beijing to do this workshop and going back to Kunming to skate and film the video and going back to Thailand later. Be it on their boards or in the air, China's skaters are using the sport as a form of self-expression. As a growing number of young Chinese have the time and money to indulge in hobbies, skateboarding is likely to grow as well. And many of them will probably be flying off ramps and grinding rails at Woodward in Beijing.